India is set to release its interim budget for 2024 tomorrow, ahead of the country's highly anticipated general elections. It will be replaced by a new one once the next government is formed. That's after elections are due by May. While it's an opportunity for Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his ruling BJP to appeal to voters... Economists say that the finance minister is likely to avoid big bang announcements. Rebecca Bundan reports from Mumbai. For the Bhagat family, managing their household expenses is a daily struggle. Their monthly income is only about 250 US dollars. And the couple have two teenage children to provide for. As he waits for the Indian government to announce its upcoming budget, breadwinner Shiv Shambhu Bhagat is watching out to see if families like his will be getting any help. Shiv Shambhu has a long wish list. He's hoping for more subsidies for lower and middle income households and greater spending on health care. India will be holding elections by May, making this the Narendra Modi government's final budget before the polls. Although some might expect big spending plans to be rolled out to win over voters, several economists say they don't think that's going to happen. Mr Modi may be bidding for a rare third term as Prime Minister, but recent successes in state elections have cemented expectations of a victory for his governing BJP. This government need not be really populist, so that's the first thing, strike out the populism from what uh, is like widely expected before elections. So this government is like very popular at the centre, they really don't have to do go the extra mile and announce something which is not in the nature of uh, you know fiscal consolidation just to win over votes because by and large I think uh, they have the confidence that they will uh, get there. Economists are expecting the government to keep subsidies at current levels of about 48 billion US dollars. Over welfare spending, they believe the budget will instead prioritise investment in areas including infrastructure, which can help to boost economic growth and create much needed jobs, while facing certain limitations. The government's spending capacity will be constrained by India's need to keep its fiscal deficit in check. That's the difference between its income and its expenditure. And economists say that controlled spending and borrowing is critical when it comes to investor confidence. The government is aiming to trim its fiscal deficit by at least 50 basis points in the next financial year beginning in April. The target is set at 5.9% of GDP for the current year. Sharad Chandra Shukla, director at stockbroker Meta Equities, says he'd be happy to see infrastructure being prioritised so India can grow its manufacturing industry and exports. But he says he's not setting his expectations too high for the budget. I think uh, the government has done a lot uh, in terms of uh, businesses, in, tough, uh, in terms of ease of doing business. Several steps have been initiated. Even the corporate tax rate is now quite competitive at 25%. So I don't think anything major is going to happen as far as corporates are concerned. As a pre-election budget, it's an interim budget and the final one will only be presented after the election results. With widespread expectations, the budget may be a muted event. Families like the Bagat may not see the major giveaways they are hoping for. But economists say fiscal prudence and a focus on growth may still serve these families by delivering longer-term benefits for the population. Rebecca Bundan, CNA, Mumbai.